Hello. Hi. Hello. We started. <laughs> Jessica. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you, everyone, for coming to Horror Icons. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Hi. Um, we're having a, a very interesting conversation. We were meant to do this live for so long. Yes. <laughs> so so, thank, yes. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Celise, do you want to, like, introduce yourself and what you do? I have all of her links down below. If you don't know her, you definitely need to check out her channel. Um, she is amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so sweet. Talk, oh, God. Do you want to talk a little bit about what you do on online? Yes. Yeah, so I basically do horror movie reviews. Um, I kind of do like my own spin now on like Elvira, but I kind of do it like bimbo-esque. So I have like a headless <laughs> butler that joins me and we chat about movies, new releases. Um, I also cover Jalo. I love Jalo. I like to do little skits for that. And I do top 10 list, similar to what Emma does, you know. Yeah, variety. <laughs> <laughs> now I do Twitch. I'm like, I do variety. <laughs> I don't know anything about anyone. But today we're going to talk about hot takes. Hot takes. Uh, thank you so much for the shout out. Look where, oh, that was a shout out for you. Look at you. Oh, hi, Dee. Thank you. Doctor. Love it. Yeah, That's very sweet. Um, we're both spooky today, which is so funny. <laughs> yeah, I got my little spooky friend back there too. Oh yeah, everything's spooky. So cute. <laughs> um, so we're talking about horror hot takes. We have a couple, but you guys are on, oh my God, I went through, so I asked you on my community tab and on Instagram, my gosh. And you know what? I could have been really nice and blanked out people's names, but I haven't. So <laughs> Anyone who thought you're putting it in, and honestly, no, no, not the time or the place. Uh, if you're gonna put your opinion down there, I'm gonna call you out. So, uh, stand we're... by your opinion, yes, yes. So, we're gonna be proud of it. Hot takes in the chat. Do you guys want to start with your hot takes? Do we want to warm up with a couple of your hot takes, or do you want us to jump into ours? I think maybe we should just start with a couple of them to warm up and we can give our opinions on it. I'm really excited because we have not spoken about any of these opinions, so you're going to get the fresh <laughs> yeah. take. Um, oh my god, thank you so much, Nightmare Maven, Bestie, oh my god, Queen, thank you, Bestie, love you, thank you for Aww. your. Blood sacrifice. <laughs> I, I love when you say that. It's so cute. <laughs> well, Vicky and I both have our sacrifice things, and we I always forget which one's which, and she knows this. That's why it's funny. <laughs> ah, um, let's start. Let's, you know what? Let's call them out. Yes, call them out. <laughs> call them out. Call them out. Nailed it. Did I nail it, Vicky? Um, or Maven? <laughs> okay. We're gonna I'm gonna just randomly throw to one and this is gonna be funny for Celise because she has <laughs> no idea. No idea. And I have no idea your opinion on this, which is fun. I felt like the people on Instagram went harder, but I think that's because my like core audience, oh god, Wilson's coming in with the hot takes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. One sec, Wilson, you don't have to send every time you talk, Wilson, you don't have to do this. We're just gonna start that off the bat because he has a little he, he does this. Oh, uh, interesting. Plenty of hot takes. Um, takes from Haunted Hippies channel. Oh, you did a collab with them, did you? Yes. Yes, I yes. did. Oh, <laughs> Leprechaun movies. What did you, did you not like the Leprechaun movies? Me or you? Is this to me? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. No, I, I don't like them at all. <laughs> yeah. I, I haven't watched them since I was seven. So I, I am a hater. Yeah, no, I'm a serious hater. Yeah, I am. Oh, okay. They're bad. I have not. I, I can't. Yeah. I remember being really scared, especially with the car. The car yeah. door with the fingers. But that's, I was like, yeah, seven years old. So I, I need to revisit, I think, probably before <laughs> I get my hot take on that. But that's Be interesting. Best of luck. <laughs> maybe not i don't know i do this all the time i'm like i want to rewatch children in the corn i want to watch all of like texas chancellor massacre and then i regret it <laughs> straight away after you get past like the first one i'm like oh this is a lot it's too much it's yeah, daunting it is. it is we'll start off with a really nice and easy one um this sorry guys you're gonna get a jump scare with the way i've got these <laughs> i've screenshotted these so i'm really sorry it's gonna be it's going to be intense. Um, here's the first one. That's not too bad. Uh, so this person, sorry, uh, Abdul, um, said that you shouldn't get hate. I liked this one because it was like 
how many people had also agreed with it. Um, you shouldn't get hate for liking modern horror more than classic. I don't know if it's it's hard to say if that's a hot take, but um, yeah, I don't know think about that. I think that's like something that comes up quite often, and that has a lot to do with like gatekeeping as well within horror. What do you think? What is your I'm actual not, opinion? I'm not about the gatekeeping. I I feel like I feel the same. I agree with that. I don't know if that's a hot take. Like I feel like that's just like yeah. It's well, like I think straightforward, you know. <laughs> honestly, with the sorry, I am seeing Megan. Thank you so much um for your blood boils. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I love you. Um I think that, the, that what's really interesting about that is because of the new Exorcist, which I have, oh my gosh, um, I got oh. so many bad comments about that. And also about, um, I think, uh, Freddy, um, Five Nights at Freddy's. A lot of people in my comment section do the um actually to me, which oh, know, is the dreaded yeah. comment. <laughs> but a lot I of people those. said, I think you're confusing. Uh, no hate to the person who said this because we kind of cleared it up between us but um I think you're confusing gatekeeping with fandom and I'm like what do you I'm not, trust me I've been doing this for like nearly 10 years there's no confusion when someone's being gatekeepy towards me and they have had been with uh the new Exorcist film saying you can't be a real horror fan if you like this movie blah blah blah, blah. Yeah. so it's like I mean I think that people don't even want to associate themselves with the term gatekeeping so they're kind of like twisting it into being like oh no it's just a fandom thing it just means I love it so I think that um yeah I don't we, we really uh sidestepped there into gatekeeping didn't we <laughs> really fast. we did we did yeah. but um I think with the modern versus classic that's always gonna be it's so funny isn't it because I feel like uh generations generations past uh they were all about the classic movies and like uh, I guess even more so the universal monsters and all that kind of stuff and then it turned into a, a lot of people uh just uh praising the 80s 80s horror and saying oh. that was the best and if you don't like 80s horror if you don't like certain movies classics from the 80s then that's a thing and then you can even say like what is a classic really because then you can also say classics are you know the the big three and if you don't like Jason or Halloween or whatever then that's also a classic so it's really hard to kind of determine what is modern horror and what is classic because that's also like a personal I yeah, guess, preference or is. what you grew up with or whatever like that but I don't think that there should be any hate. I definitely think that you probably get value out of watching those films and maybe after, even if you like modern horror, I think everyone starts with whatever, you know, whatever you get into horror. For me, it was like 2000s. Whenever you got into horror, you love those movies at the time. But when you go back and you see what they're referencing, you're going to get more out of it. But um, I don't think that the, any any opinion on decades or what's classic is better than anyone else's. If you like what you like, that's fine. I don't know. Right. I yeah, I agree. Just like like what you like. Also, I don't like the term. Sorry, this is. You know what? Is this a hot take? Am I getting? I don't know. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to get too deep into it. But like, no, I do. I, I don't <laughs> like when people like feel like they have to apologize for like liking something so they're like oh but it's my guilty pleasure and i'm just mm. like what does that mean like who gives up what guilty pleasure it's just like you like it like you like yeah. what you like and why are you apologizing Fuck yeah 100 percent. like i don't know it's all pleasure <laughs> like, you like it. yeah. and it's, it's very interesting because with that it's like a lot of people within um the horror community uh, saying, oh, I like this as a guilty pleasure. But to a, a lot of people who don't even like horror, horror is like a guilty pleasure. You know, they look down right. on horror. So it's like, so where is the line between what, yeah. And you're you're 100% right. Guilty pleasures are very, yeah. I think that that's like a hard thing to, I find that hard as well with with scoring some films where I know that they're just a piece of entertainment, but not like the best film ever. So it's like, you don't know what to like call that. So that's <laughs> yeah. when you would, I would, I don't think I use that term, but that's when I would use that term. I don't know. That's a weird one, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's very weird. I think I got it. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. I'm just scrolling up and seeing the comment section's gone nuts. Thank you so much, DC Carter. I love you. <laughs> and thank you so much, Matt. I love Pet, Pet Cemetery, but most most of us in Maine do not talk like Judd. Will you don't worry because he can talk <laughs> like – did you watch the Bloodlines? 
sleeves? Did you watch Bloodlines? No, I'm afraid, Emma. I'm afraid. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun. Um, oh my god. He doesn't talk like that in there. So, I mean, you might like it. Whatever. Whatever. Um, I've heard nothing you know, but bad things. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a couple of people who said that they liked it. But um, mm. interesting enough with what you're saying about when people say sorry, um, you know, like I I like this and you'll kind of like apologize for it. I always see people in the comments say, sorry, but this is bad. Sorry, but da-da-da. And I'm like, well, just remove the sorry because obviously you're not sorry about it. Right. And, and don't be sorry that you didn't like something that I liked or vice versa. Sometimes people say, sorry, but this was shit or sorry, but I liked, but I thought this was good. And I'm like, well, then why, who are you apologizing to? Like, <laughs> am I meant to accept your apology? Like, it's so uh, yeah. wild. Like, I don't care. Like, I got a lot of those comments on my Exorcist Believer review. Oh, yeah. You you were pretty fair and balanced in that, I think, though. You weren't yeah. you really, like, either or, yeah which I think is a good place to be. <laughs> Some people were like really mad about this movie. Like why? Oh my God. I have never, so and I don't crazy. know what I expect it. I honestly, I was such a fool going into that, not realizing the backlash that was going to happen because I liked the film. Um, but yeah, I've spoken about that so much, but I think it's because I went to, as I was saying beforehand, I went to Orlando and I went to Halloween Horror Nights and they had a walkthrough of the house and it's exactly the same. And so I was, I knew exactly what to kind of expect, which I think po probably prepped me. But I mean, still liked it. Anyway, um, Wilson says that his hot take is Taylor Swift. That, excuse me, is not a guilty pleasure. It, it, it's subjectively good. Are you? This is a Swifty right here. Come on. Come Are you on. a Swifty? Or a, no? Ah, no. Hater, hater. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Next so time. sorry. I'm not even a hater. I'm just like not into it. So many people probably here right now have no idea I'm a Swifty. So out of my stuff. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I thought everyone yeah. knew that. Nah. No, people don't follow me that close. Um, hot take. <laughs> Hello. Long time no see. Hey Raiders. Hot take. This stream is gonna be fire. See what I did there. I can't say a whole stream. Thank you so much for um tuning in. You guys are all going through your hot takes. I love it. Oh, don't worry, Shiraz. I got you. You, you're don't worry we'll get to that Shiraz I can see what you're saying okay next hot take though should we spice it up a little bit more that was a pretty easy one I think this so. one <laughs> so <laughs> oh Campbell's best horror role is Bonnie from the craft and not Sydney which I <clears throat> I liked this take because I do think that Sydney being the final girl, sorry, I've just got that comment on there. Sydney being the final girl is <laughs> um I guess predict as a predictable role. It's like a pretty straightforward where Bonnie or even any girl in the craft has such obstacles to overcome and it's mm. do you know what I mean? It's a kind of like more of an unpredictable <clears throat> role. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think that she was better in that? Or what do you think? I guess what she, do you think she should be known for? Is there something else as well that, that we're missing? Another film? Uh, another horror film that she, I don't think so. I'm trying to think. I'm sure chat will correct us. I, I like, I respect this take, but I'm such a scream girly that I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like she's known for that for like a reason. She's good. Did you like the movies without her in them? Like the new yeah, ones? I did. Yeah, I mean, I personally don't think that those movies need her to live on. So mm. I know no. some people are like, they need Sydney back. It sucks, <laughs> but I feel like like the whole new cast kind of like holds their own. So I think it yeah. still works without her. Yeah. It took me a while to warm up to the new cast. I felt like I needed that whole really? movie and then the new movie. Yeah. And I don't like, obviously I'm not going to spoil, but I mean, you should watch it if you haven't watched it. But I don't like when they kill off the original cast members because I'm a uh, gay oh. Weathers like Stan and I'm so yeah. scared for her life every time I watch one of those films. because I, I thought riot. they were going to do that. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to, I was going to riot. So, <laughs> so like, I'm so glad. I, the funny thing is I'll, I want any character, like I don't care if any characters killed off usually, but I feel like with that, I'm so connected to it so it's very interesting how they've kind of like sydney's just not included anymore because it is her film you're like you're you're 100 right well i mean i think it's gail weather's film but you know what i mean um that's so fair I, though 
I think that it'd be interesting to see if she ever, I don't think she would, if she ever, ever, ever came back to horror and did a whole new role. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be great. I would love that. But, um, I don't think that's going to happen for us. If she's not going to do Sydney, I don't think that she's going to get any, <laughs> any more for something else. All right. Um, this one is interesting. I don't know if this is a hot take. This is just a conversation that's always going on within, um, within the horror sphere. Thriller and horror are not, so this person says that thrillers and horrors are not separate genres. Uh, thriller is what we call horror movies without excessive violence and gore. So it's a subgenre of horror. I have to say I disagree with this one because <laughs> I don't think it's a subgenre of horror, but I mm. think that uh, horror, especially now, is kind of genre bending. And so someone can be thrilling. But I think thriller is a really hard one to define. What do you think? Yeah, I ne- I never really understand thriller. Is it like a mystery? <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be a mystery. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but is it like is it like a mystery with extra steps? Like what it what is a thriller even? <laughs> a with extra steps. I love that. We needed to define that. That's so funny. Yeah. Oh. It's just, it's hard. It's really hard. Um and I always go, because I when I do my, like, what's coming up this month videos as well, I'm always like, is this technically a horror or a thriller? So that's why I do, like, thrillers and horrors, because it's so hard to define anything. I would yeah. like to see if what people's um, definitions of horror and thriller are in the in the chat, because it's even hard to define what horror is. I know. Some people, like, got mad at me for calling, I think I called Jacob's Ladder a horror movie or I put it on a list for horror movies and they're like oh. that's a thriller and I was wow. like oh I'm sorry <laughs> I've seen I feel like it has I've horror elements horror. though oh yeah I've seen yeah I've seen it being called both I I think it's <clears throat> completely horror I mean there's definitely even like surrealism in there that's like really fucked yeah up. so like that's that's a that is that's a hot take itself <laughs> isn't it God, you, it is we should have went to my mm-hmm. comment section for the hot takes because oh yeah I'm, like ruthless like, over there oh my god i mean is that good <laughs> or is that bad ruthless? it's a little bit of both <laughs> <laughs> they can get scary some people get scary so um true. thank you again wilson uh are you afraid of the dark okay she's in are you afraid of the dark i did not know that that was that her starring role is that what you know her from oh <laughs> i didn't know she was in that me well, either in one episode and oh and maybe is it a, the new one or the old one um is there an old there's, there's a new one right <laughs> i feel like there is, is thank there? you des for oh. your hot take about have you oh seen my Marvel god i have so, oh my that's god that's so evil Des, you're so, it's yeah. always the quiet ones i swear to god uh <laughs> thank you so much Des. you didn't have to do that you didn't have to make a mockery of yourself you really <laughs> added yourself for everyone to see what a psychopath you are and i love that for you okay we okay i'll give you a hot hot one this is from uh, instagram so you know it's going to be a little bit more intense <laughs> um actually I don't think it's oh we'll do this one you this is the one you've already seen which I kind of have an opinion on so Eli Roth is a hack oh my god this <laughs> is great highly overrated ha- this what do is you great think for me oh do you this have is strong- great for me yeah okay, no this it. is great I can't I stand I'm Eli ready. Roth I'm so ah! sorry no I can't don't say sorry don't say sorry <laughs> oh right I can't say yeah, sorry I'll yell at you no saying sorry <laughs> No, I can't stand Eli Roth. I think he's a bad writer. He's very, very bad. Half of his movies are like just like ridiculous. Like, has anyone rewatched like Hostel and Cabin Fever? Like, really? Cabin Fever. I, I, yeah. Cabin, Cabin Fever specifically. Cabin yeah. yeah. <laughs> just so like. like- Oh my god! I was sick like a couple years ago. I, I got an allergic reaction, and I, I had to be on steroids. So oh, I was, no! I was so random, <laughs> and I from of all things from silk pajamas. <laughs> <That's my laughs> it, was, it was so random, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna like really fuck myself up because I'm on like these steroids, and they're making me loopy. I'm gonna watch Cabin Fever while I feel like I have Cabin Fever stuck <laughs> in the house. This was years before COVID, by the way. So was, uh, I had no idea. This, I love you. I had no idea what was coming, and um, yeah, and I rewatched. I think I rewatched the first one and then the remake, and they're horrendous. Oh my god, you watched the remake? I'm so I'm sorry. Pretty sure, it's so bad. <laughs> and no, I was, I was, I've been so surprised after that, just side eyeing people when I hear people go, "Oh my god, I love Cabin Fever." I'm like, 
have you watched it in like recently? yeah have you <laughs> yeah oh my god it is it's really bad I do like Hostel I think with Eli Roth I understand because um I think even Vicky and I've had this conversation before because we've touched on a lot of like Eli, Eli Roth films um throughout Does This Offend You and I think that it's the weird thing is that he's like a household name because mm. there's so many other people who have done kind of the same amount of work but he just like rose to stardom like out of nowhere and I think that's what throws us off because it doesn't make much sense because you're it I doesn't. think his stuff is hit hit and miss because there's some stuff I really like by like from him and there's some like I feel like he has some like almost like campy-esque or you want to think it's kind of like the James Wan of like is it is he joking with us or is he not joking with us <laughs> do you know what I mean so yeah. I kind of like that element but I think I'm I'm really interested to see what happens with Thanksgiving, but I, I totally see where you're coming from. It's He's just a bizarre person to be like known as a horror icon and he's in so many documentaries and all it's that kind of stuff. It's crazy. Like I'm not calling this man a horror icon after he made me sit through knock, knock. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's be so real. It's free pizza. That monologue haunts me to this day. The worst written <laughs> monologue. He had Ke Keanu Reeves saying, oh, my God. Oh, it's so oh. funny. I, actually, I like Knock Knock, but it's because no! of the thing. <laughs> but this, is, this is the exact camp thing I'm talking about. It's just, I'm like, is are we? Because, you know, Knock Knock is actually a remake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're of like. Death Game. But they're like, I'm like, are they fucking with us or not? And I love Keanu Reeves. Like Keanu Reeves. If it wasn't Keanu Reeves, I probably wouldn't care. And the, the two girls in it are fucking fantastic as well. But yeah. like, oh my God. Like the casting is phenomenal. And I do like when people just fuck with each other, like for a whole movie. <laughs> it's like funny games, but like poor man's version. So like. <laughs> <laughs> That's sexual. good. Yeah. That's yeah. true. And it's, it's, it's weird. It's weird and like kooky. But cabin cabin fever, I just cannot get behind that. Um, yeah, there's it's definitely. I'm really interested to see what's going to happen for Thanksgiving. I'm just, yeah. I'm. I want it to be good. Like I don't want it to be bad. Yeah, I was wondering <laughs> what this was for. You're like, I hope. It's I'm, hoping, <laughs> yeah. no, I'm hoping it's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for like Addison Rae's in it too. Like I just think it's so. Yeah. That's why I'm like, is he being funny with us or is he not? Like I just don't know. <laughs> I like that element. I have the same thing with James Wan because of like malignant and stuff. Like, is he being silly? Like, like he's riding on like Megan. And I'm like, mm, is he joking or is he not? I don't know. Is he being serious or is he not? And I love that. Sometimes I like a little bit of mystery, a little bit of spice. <laughs> oh God, guys, you guys keep sending super chaps. Why do you keep doing this to me? Thank you so much. Aww. Um, thank you, Wilson. Again, you don't have to send a super chat every time. <laughs> I rewatched. I told you that I was going to say that at the start. I rewatched Hostel and Promising Young Woman. It made me disgusted to be a dude on behalf of my gender. I will. I'll take that. I mean, it's it's the least you can do. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> Valid. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. So. <laughs> We watched Promising Young Woman not too long. It's like a group watch, a bunch of us. And oh my God, it's just the hardest group watch there is, I think. It's one of the hardest. For sure. It's so good. We love Eli Roth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I feel like he needs to be on his best behavior um, for Thanksgiving. So it should be it should be really interesting. But it looks nothing like the, the trailer it's based on. That's what I was confused by. Because you know how oh. it's like based on the trailer from Grindhouse? No, I Did didn't know that. Know that. Oh! No. So from <laughs> Grindhouse, like the double feature um, Tarantino, which yeah. I'm known in Tarantino to be fair. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We will keep that away from horror. Um <laughs> uh, Yeah, so he did a, like a fake trailer. So it's meant to be based on that fake trailer, but it's it's nothing like that. If you go and watch, I think you can probably watch it on YouTube, the trailer. It's nothing like that. So very, mm. very interesting there. Well, that, there you go, guys. The Eli Roth one got us started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Let's, I'm trying to find the next one. Okay. I like this one. This is the one that makes me very happy. I think you probably agree. Seed of Chucky. What yes! the head of it? Oh! oh, my God. The <laughs> hatred that I have received for saying that's my favorite in the franchise, which is apparently a hot take. I mean, it, but it's so fun. And it's it so is. different. And, I mean, John Waters, like, 
that's when you know that this is it's camp about. like that's tell me you don't understand camp or something exactly like. and it was so ahead i remember watching it and being like i don't understand what's going on but i love it and then yeah. what that's transformed into with like communities and like especially lgbt like it just it just makes so much sense and it's so cool that that literally those seeds were in there they were planting the seeds <laughs> exactly <And> it's, <laughs> it's so cool that people are so much more open and there's so many more films that kind of match that vibe now but it was ahead of its time like there was nothing like that back especially in a franchise like that like, right so wild. have you been watching the show no i haven't i've heard good things though oh, have you been so good yeah oh my God, i need i need to get up so to it. good oh my god yeah but is there there's no glenda in there is there Oh, okay. Okay. I kept yes. that. Sorry. Spoilers, yes. Guys. No, no, okay. no, no. I'm assuming everyone knows at this point because they come in in season Sorry, two. But Oh, okay. I need to go. Okay. Yes. I was so excited. Okay, I was like, yes, mine. we're referencing Seed of Chucky now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. I definitely need to check it out. I need to check it out. I'm just reading the comment. It's, the comments are so wild. <laughs> um, I think most people agree. I don't know if I can do a poll here. I don't even know if you can do polls here. Oh, you can. I'm going to do a poll. Hang on one second. Oh, you can? Ooh, oh, I okay. love it. It was, I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. On on the fly was Chucky ahead of its time. Seed of Chucky. <laughs> yeah. Yes, no. There we go, guys. We got a poll. I don't know how long that goes for if it even shows up. <laughs> Yes, there is a poll going. Yay. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that here. I'm so used to like uh, live streaming on Twitch now. I'm like, oh gosh, I'm surely they have this function. Oh, everyone's saying yes. 93% so far. Oh, it's going down. It's going down dramatically. Never mind. Never mind. I can't see the poll. Can only um, see it. Uh, I've got it in like up on the YouTube um, window. Uh, I have a oh. YouTube window up as well, just oh. in case. So 77%. 77. Oh gosh, Whoa. Wilson. Wilson, you can stop doing this now. <laughs> Thank you so much for your blood sacrifice, bloody boil, whatever we're calling it today. <laughs> Everything else is awful. Oh, no way. You need to go back and watch it. Wilson, you are wrong. As someone, Wilson loves car carnosaur. I don't know if you know what that is. I and don't. Yeah, no. you don't want to know. So <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. take a little bit of a turn. Okay. Let's get on to the next one because I think that was a little, that was a bit too easy maybe. That one was too easy. <laughs> okay, okay. I do have a really, should I, okay, I'm going to throw up the the hot, hot one. This is going to get a little bit uncomfortable. Oh my God. I'm I think so you scared. know what's coming. I think everyone knows what's coming. Okay, everyone, <laughs> this might be a little bit of a serious one. Okay. So these are two different comments oh. I got that are oh opposing. God. So I thought this was really interesting and sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm dying that someone's mm. name is my butt jiggles when I brush. I don't know what the rest <laughs> of my name is. <laughs> and Trash Queen uh, duking it out in the comments. Um, no, they sent this on Instagram. So Trash Queen says there is no need for excessive SA scenes and mm. uh, butt jiggles <laughs> says that uh, torture porn uh, is valuable. This one is hmm. insane because, sorry, I'm trying to get it off the screen. Get it off the screen. Get it off the screen. Oh, there we go. Um, <laughs> this one is something that comes up a lot. Comes up a lot. And, yeah, I mean, where do we even start? Do you have strong feelings on either way? I, I can see both sides to this. I, like, I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, I'm um I feel like are we are we saying like extensive as in like you can see it, right? Is that what we're saying? Yeah. Long yeah, I guess. Scenes. Or like yeah, yeah, yeah. Long scenes, I guess. Yes. Probably. Um personally I feel like we don't need that. I think implication is fine. Mm -hmm. Uh but I also see how some people find it like cathartic and things. So yeah, that's the hard thing. I don't. I don't mm. like to to watch those very long scenes. Mm. But yeah, I think for me, it's not even the scene itself; it's the context around it. So mm. a lot of movies, like The Woman, <laughs> have you ever seen that yeah. movie? Yeah, yeah where it's like just a woman chained up and just awful shit happening to her. 
it's like there is no even if there is some explanation and it's meant to be some kind of psychological thing you're watching a man i don't like what oh he's a family man and he also does this cool like <laughs> right. that's a short that's right. a short film that's not something that we need to watch him and be tortured over and over again like that's right. an idea so i think as long as it makes sense could be a big twist I, I'm really bad with this stuff because I like really disturbing things, but it doesn't mean it has to be sexual violence. And I feel like I that's agree. where it feels like it's an easy payoff where if they have that in a film. So I think that they have to do a lot of work and there has to be a lot of care put around to be yes. like, this needs to be in this film because it needs to be, I hate to say it's a payoff, but it's it's something right. like that where it it really needs to be there. I feel like a lot, it's used a lot, especially, it's kind of like the same thing as killing an animal. Mm -hmm. It's used as a plot point to make you feel bad for someone or make someone seem evil really easily instead of for a greater purpose. Not that it should be for a greater purpose, but like they just need to put a lot of context around it and, be, and know that this is the only way that they can tell that story or it, it's really important to the story. So I feel like that it's a cop out um, a lot, just like, you know, killing animals or whatever don't mind when they kill the kid <laughs> but you know that that i always feel like they take that decision a little bit more serious than anything else in horror movies where they just throw out like sexual violence assault um all that kind of stuff so yeah overused and not used correctly i do think i agree with what you're saying with like the prolonged scenes never needed um, I don't yeah. even like really watching prolonged like <laughs> consensual scenes. Like I feel like it's honestly too much. same. Yeah, it's yeah. like okay, I understand. Yeah, just <laughs> have them close the door. Yeah, like I like when things are inferred um, instead of you know having to see <laughs> see that. I just I feel really awkward. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting one. All of the um, all of the comments are very interesting. Torture porn was around decades before it was even called that. Hmm, what does that mean? What does that mean? Um, what is implicated to the boy in happiness is far more disturbing. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I love disturbing films. And it's always more violent and scary when it's, like, inferred or implicated. I agree. Yeah, even when things are hinted at and you're like, again, did they, did they not, whatever happens. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I think that it's just overused, especially when we get to the – you know, the rape revenge movies because that just turns into the whole thing is just, oh, it's just so stupid because the mm. whole thing is like, oh, yeah, the worst thing that ever happens to a woman, we'll do it at the start. Right. And then the rest of it is just her revenge. And right. I don't know. It just seems it's so played out. You know what I mean? I agree. I'm not really into the, the rape revenge movies, to be honest. There's like very few that I enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that that's, once you've seen one, unfortunately, you'll kind of see them all, which is so fucked up to say because that <clears> is it's true. women's stories and it's meant to be this. And they're all directed by men as well, which is <laughs> just a fucking nothing, another thing. Yeah, let's not even talk about I spit <laughs> on your grave. Oh, yeah. oh God. Oh. I, there are, they've done so many sequels and remakes. and For what? Insane. I For know. what? Oh, it my is. God. It is insane. Thanks for bearing with us all for a little bit of a, <laughs> a downer. We got through it. <laughs> we got through it. I knew it was going to be there. I mean, coming off the back of that, I got this one that says uh, it's talking about, um, I guess, female versus male protagonists. This is really interesting to me, um, whether mm -hmm. it is better to have, uh, I guess they're kind of pointing out a final girl in this comment. Uh, yeah. Because they're not really saying, they're saying about them overcoming something and it's satisfying to watch a woman <laughs> overcoming stuff. I don't know if this, like what um, gender this person is. So that's another thing that I'm like, hmm, is it interesting as a woman or like, you know, someone who is right. on binary? Like, is it interesting for them to see overcoming or is it, is it interesting because you're a man and you, I don't know. Right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that could be kind of weird. It's like, what are you saying? It's also like <clears throat> this interesting, um, I don't know if you look at your demographics. I don't know what your um, male to female <laughs> ratio. Oh what is it? You know? I, I don't know the exact that. number, but I have way more men than women. Oh, <gasps> Really? Yeah. And I'm just like, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> No, 
Yeah, subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Uh, <laughs> I can't listen to it. Um, oh my god, I need to. It would be great if I just had like an even split. I think. Like, yeah. You you guys can stay, but just like maybe I can get more women on board here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I used to have. Oh my god, why can I never find how to? Log I I should check YouTube? mine now. Yeah, I'm trying to find mine. <laughs> I can't even log into my. <laughs> Like, it's so hard to find the creator page now because I've changed everything. I'm so used to it. Okay, there we go. I need to look it up because I had, I was really happy with a 50-50 balance I had for a long time. Obviously, they need to change the way that it's split anyway. But where, I'm like, where is it? God, mine is crazy. What is yours? Okay, I'm trying to find It says 89.8% male and 10.2% female. I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. Wait, no. What do you have? I need to know now. Okay, mine is sixty-four percent male. What? And and yeah, thirty-five percent female. And point zero point three user specified. I don't know what that. I have zero of the user specified. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't really know (laughs) what that means. (laughs) Oh my god! Yeah, it is weird. It's that is really really interesting. So yeah. Anyway, back to the question. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's interesting. I think that um a lot of people. This is what I always think is really interesting. That a lot of people say, "Oh my god, it must be so hard being a uh being a female horror creator." Blah blah. blah. I'm like, but horror is technically skewed more that way. Like it is all about overcoming and um like what we were just talking about, like rape revenge and a lot of the right. it's all final girls. There's no such thing as a final boy, really. Right. They, don't, they don't use that term or scream queen. I guess it could be other queens, which we love. But like there's, it's just, I, it, it is always been skewed that way because that's the thing is we have so many fears on earth and we're finally getting to see, like it's going to take a little bit longer to see those sensitive stories um being portrayed by men which i i'm all for where are the stories about friendship between men and i would like, love that i'd love oh my god would you i not? want that yeah i love a platonic like friendship yes movie. like I is is the so only much. one Shaun of the dead like what yeah <laughs> but even in that that's still got you know he's still got a love interest it, so. yeah it would be so amazing because that's kind of like the craft has that kind of element, but then also <clears> they throw in some sexual assault into the craft as well. So yes. like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like I love that. And, um, you know, maybe they're not doing enough representation the other way, to be fair, which is not what I thought I was going to start off by saying. But <laughs> I always I agree. thought it was, it was skewed more that way. And I think it is interesting watching, but it's only because there's not any other, like I think it would be just as interesting watching men it's just that they don't give them like they all always have to be stereotypical which i think is annoying so maybe we just need to like switch it up a little bit what we're like aiming at i don't know is that a hot take oh no i don't think i'd say that <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that's a hot take oh there yeah Tuck, tucker and dale yeah that's a good one. Oh yeah i haven't watched that one in a while that's a great one maddie yeah <laughs> someone said friendship but they also kiss <laughs> I would love that. That's great. That's great yeah. for me. Yeah. Um, the male gaze and final girl are un. Oh, they apply to anyone. I guess they. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's it can be skewed for sure. Um, don't you guys think? Sorry, I'm trying to read some of the you guys' take. Don't you guys think I should probably read these? But that there are more men that enjoy horror than women. No, I do not think no. that. I think that men are just more outspoken. Honestly, I think that's what it is. What do you think? Yeah, no, I don't agree. I feel like the majority of like the people I follow in the community are like women. Yeah, that are, like super into horror. Yeah, I feel like I see more women than men. To be honest. Me too. And when we talk about the final girl, who do you think is relating more to that? Like, that's so crazy. Right. Um, I think it's a really, I get really badly, um, I guess, judged by people because I don't know anyone really in my normal, in real life community that likes horror. And no. a lot of people assume that I watch all the movies with my husband and he doesn't like horror at all. He's so scared. <laughs> oh. So, it's completely opposite. I don't know with your partner if you guys watch stuff. Do you watch stuff together? We do, yeah. yeah. They, they love we horror. But stuff together. 
I definitely got them more into horror because, like, at the beginning, they were like, yeah, I like them. And now they're like, mm. we have to see the new. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, like, now they're into it. Because you guys make uh, make a lot of videos together, so I assumed that they, they know do. what's going on. With them. Yeah, <laughs> they do. Yeah, but um, my husband, Dean, does not like it at all. And a lot of people just assume. It's the same thing, like, he doesn't drink and I drink. It's the same thing when they bring, they bring like, the, the juice and the wine to the table and they put one in front of the other and we switch. <laughs> yeah. It's the same thing with horror. I'm like, no, that's for me. It, it's, it's really interesting because I do think that, yeah, it's, it's a hard thing to poll. It really is. But I, and I don't know whether it's because with the community, with the people I interact with are more like female based or non, non, um, non-binary. So I just don't know if it is because I'm not really talking to a lot of men. I mean, I follow a lot of, um, a lot of dudes who are into horror, but it's hard to know if you're in like a little echo chamber as well, to be completely honest, Mm. um, with who likes it or watches it more or whatever but again outspoken I think men are more likely to get onto YouTube and and talk about their opinion and be (laughs) elevated because of that oh my god why did I say that (laughs) it's so true though (laughs) it's the only time I'll ever use elevated horror guys (laughs) oh do you hate that term oh I hate it can't stand it I've never used it in my life oh good for you good for you (laughs) I got into some tea some times past I got into some like a, an actual like fight in <laughs> not fight. I got into a book <laughs> match with a, with a um a local reviewer, not anyone online. They're actually for a public. I was like, oh my god, on. Emma throwing hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm five foot. Could you imagine? <laughs> um, we went and saw Nope, and um straight afterwards. It was just me and this person because we were interviewing the cast online. And so we saw it ahead of time. And straight afterwards, they were like, oh, this is, it's not really horror. It's more like elevated. And I'm, I was like, what do you mean? What does that mean? You know? I don't know what that means. Yeah. It just means people who don't like horror will not accept something is horror. Do you know what I mean? Like they just don't want to accept that it's put into that pool. Right. They Don't they reference that in Scream? She says that like. The Babadook so. is elevated horror. Yeah. It's, it hurts my heart. It hurts my heart. Because that's, what does that, yeah, you're 100% right. What does that mean? And it's not like there was an artsy, fun horror <clears throat> beforehand as well. Like that's such a new term. Just when people don't want to accept something as horror. I feel like people probably would have called The Shining elevated horror back in the day. Oh my God, so it's true. mainstream. Yeah, it's mainstream. Yeah. And people don't want to accept that it's ours. It belongs to the horror people. <laughs> It's not yours. <laughs> so gatekeeping. <laughs> gatekeeping queen. Speaking of, the next one. <laughs> God, it's already been 44 minutes. Jesus. The next one. A24. Horror is very hit or miss. I honestly don't think uh, train wrecked him. I don't think that this is that hot because you're kind of on the fence. You're saying hit or miss. And I, I, I would have to agree. Like there's definitely some A24 that didn't get as um, – as, oh, much hype or promo material that I've because we did a couple years ago we did a challenge on my um discord where we were watching trying to watch all the a24 films and I've definitely skipped a lot but there were a couple that I hadn't really seen a lot of promotional like materials about and I don't know if they're getting better now because they're so well known a24 but um that I could have definitely you know skipped over but I think that what people are excited about when they see a24 is that they know that there's a bit more creative control for the filmmakers um, opposed to, yeah, when you see something that's Blum, Blumhouse. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> there's, and there's not as many producers and all that involved in it where things get cut. It's more of like mm-hmm. knowing that this is going to be a distinctive style and can be very different um, for the audience to watch and not something that they've seen before. So that's what I think people like about A24. You just, you just have no idea what it's going to be like, but you know it's going to be strong. Um, in its stylization. I don't know that, if you agree. Yeah, that's definitely why I'm always excited to see an A24 movie. I'm always mm. like, I don't know where this is going to go, but I'm <laughs> along for the ride. And there's a lot of people who hate them. I think that they do as much people. Yeah, as much <laughs> people say that everyone's like fans of them and everyone loves A24 so much. When Men came out, oh my God, people were mad. Did you like Men? You did yeah. it! No! <laughs> I think we 
wait, we had this conversation before. Oh, did we? <laughs> oh, maybe we did. It's just like it was. Yeah, it's not for me. It's not for me. Mm. I got some heat for that. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. really? That's interesting because you think that yeah. people probably would have agreed with you more than I saw. I got heat for liking it, so it's always either. I got either. heat actually from men and like incels for liking that movie. Do you remember oh. that, whole, that whole thing? Kind of now, maybe. <laughs> with that like weirdo dude that made the video about me because I like I didn't like oh, it. Oh my god! I <laughs> sort of- <laughs> I was oh like, my God, I totally forgot. It's I funny was like, how you go get over it. Yeah, no, it's oh, crazy. That was wild. Now I remember. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> You're fine. i you all over again. No. It's, it's so funny how these things happen. And like, I've had like random things like that. And I just forget. I'm like, remember when that happened with that g- dude online? And, and I just, you just forget it, yeah. so quickly because you just keep it, it going. Oh my God. It was God. crazy. He oh was like God. mad that I disliked it. But he was saying I didn't understand sense. it because he was saying it was uh, male propaganda. Wow. <laughs> male- what? And then, like, he, like, never, like, saw the movie. So it was just a very strange video. It was like, how do you have an opinion on something you've never even seen? Yeah, that's that happens a lot. Like, you I mean, just that have happens- an opinion on my opinion. Yeah, that happened a lot with – um with the exorcist before it came out everyone was had an opinion on it before they'd seen it but yeah people get it's even i think it you're right it is even weirder with something that uh is an original film because it's like how could you even know (laughs) it's like they can't have a hot take on yeah yeah yeah, crazy um but a24 i yeah i totally agree it's hit or miss but that's like anything do you know what i mean anything can be hit or miss I yeah, think. I agree. So it's definitely hit or miss. Yeah, I think everyone. Um, I think everyone in the comments should put down one a twenty four film that they love and one that they, they um, they hate. <laughs> they absolutely hate. I just saw Susie put this. I don't know if they know each other. I do know Sarah. I met her. I met her many years ago Aww. when I went to America. So yes, a lot of people think that we don't know each other. We do know each other. We're Sarah, <laughs> we're all for, we're all for um other spooky channels we love it okay um the next one the next one oh gosh okay this is an easy well is it easy i like this so much <laughs> because mm. it's so interesting that uh 16 people thumbed this up the lodge is one of the best psychological horror thrillers of the last few years <laughs> wow uh w- what did you think about the lodge wow i thought it was like all right <laughs> I didn't have strong uh, opinions thoughts. either. Or. Yeah, like I was just like, all right, that was good, but it didn't like affect me, you know. But I know some people were like, this really like hit for me. It didn't really mm. do anything mm. for me. Sorry. Didn't do anything. Sorry. Don't say sorry. Don't say sorry. <laughs> right. Don't say, don't say it's sorry. bad. I'm not allowed. Yes. You don't. Yeah. To. I don't know, but yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not bad. It's good. I really liked the movie um, and I, I was really shocked by it. It's got, got that disturbing element that I really like and the shocking element. Uh, and, yeah, I think that I actually saw another hot take that I didn't put in, but I saw uh, people saying It Follows is underrated and I completely agree with that. And I do think The Lodge is slightly underrated too. I don't think a lot of people call it a, a – not that it's a classic, but like right. not a lot of people give it um, – the credit it deserves and yeah i would kind of agree with that i think it's underrated for sure um wilson sorry wilson uh <laughs> de- definition your definition of elevated horror is horror that's up its own ass like the lighthouse hey leave the lighthouse alone <laughs> oh we love the lighthouse here yeah yeah it's one of those things are they aren't they no they definitely are joking around with that one love it i love it too but it's i mean that's the a24 you kind of mix the um the both the elevated and the a24 together right there so yeah i actually think it's oh danny i think it's overrated hot take it is a hot take not really i think that everyone runs all over the place with that one and they have a new one coming out did you see that that they have a sequel that's they do they do yeah i don't know how i feel about that 
It should be interesting. I don't know if it's even the same cast or whatever's happening. That's yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's we so just meant to random. forget. Yeah. We kind of just end. I would have so been like, okay oh. if it was like a standalone. Not everything needs a sequel. Well, okay. I thought it was a standalone. So random. So, so yeah. Random. Yeah. Oh, someone said someone is mad. Oh, Mad George, you're mad. Oh my god, you're mad. <laughs> mad, <George. laughs> mad George checks out. Checks out. Um, that's funny. I really hated the lodge. I saw it at a festival. Maybe I should rewatch. How did you hate it, Rob? What did we hate about it? Um, I have not seen Slice. And mm. I don't like Swiss Army Men. <laughs> I'm like one of the only people who don't like that film. Have you seen it? I don't think I've seen either of those. Oh no. my god! Wait, I mean, Swiss Army Man is that with um Daniel Radcliffe? Yeah, with the with the bot. Yep, with yep, yep. Do you know? I don't really want to spoil anything. No, it's like a, what? It's like a two hour fart joke, basically. <laughs> You're joking. I, you have to watch it to understand what I mean. It's like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's like a surrealist yeah it's a it's a very sad and emotional film a lot of people love it but it didn't it didn't work for me which is kind of mm. sad because now i'm thinking about it that's probably like the the platonic man story that i wanted oh. if i'm remembering it correctly <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> that's quite funny that's quite funny oh gosh um if my sorry guys if my internet's going in and out hopefully it's oh it's coming back now okay best fart joke ever <laughs> of course of course <laughs> Oh, everyone loves that. Oh, someone said it was, oh, of course, Mad Mad George said it was, it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you're meant to be mad. Do you have any hot takes that you want to bring up? First? Recently, like, yeah, go for Or well, do you want me to do one first? You can go first. Uh, I wonder if we've got the same one. That's what I'm, I have, I think we might. Oh my God. What? I don't know. Really? There's something that hasn't been brought up <laughs> that I've seen a lot in the comments as well, so. Oh, um, <laughs> um, which one do I want to start with? Um, I'll start with, I don't know why people think that like they can be saying this, but like disliking a horror film does not mean you did not understand the um, film. And like nice. people love telling me that, mm -hmm. like I'll just like something and they're like, actually, I think you just didn't understand. Like specifically with men, they're like, this this is way off. You need to rewatch the movie. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, mm -hmm. no, I don't. I watch the same movie as mm -hmm. you. And like, I just don't like it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean yeah. that I can't understand concepts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I mean, that is a good point. I don't know if that, that's a hot take much as that you need to like, people just need to learn basic manners. Like that's just that's such true. a true. There's just so that's many so of it that it's like. Yeah, I, I get you. You know, yeah, I get I get those comments all the time. And I especially got them with the Five Nights at Freddy's. Just thinking about something recently because so many people. Oh, you don't understand the law. I'm like, trust me. I spent so much time with this fucking law. Okay, leave me alone. Yeah, like what? And a lot of people say pull facts out of their ass as well. They say, oh, you know, everyone in the community who is an actual fan loves this. And I'm I'm reading comments at the same time saying like people saying they're they're a huge fan and they don't like it. So I'm, you can't speak for everybody. Yeah. Um, and some people are gonna like it. Some people aren't gonna like it. And no no one's right in the situation. Doesn't mean that you don't. Yeah. Yeah. That's annoying. That's an annoying one. Yeah. Very annoying. <laughs> that's a good one though. That's a good one. I'll see if I've got anything yeah. a little bit soft for my. <laughs> okay. This I don't know if this is a hot take. More of a <laughs> please make this happen. <laughs> so. I don't understand. This is, I mean, this is this is a two-parter, so don't freak out anyone in the comments. I know you guys all want to freak out. Why Rob Zombie did Halloween instead of Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Because Texas Chainsaw Massacre is so much more well-suited to his gritty, you know what I mean? His whole grit, grit. Yeah, like and his, his like, his, like, his, like, like hick horror thing. Hick Back. hillbilly horror. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and people know I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Um, I'm people know I'm obsessed with the game now, and there's sissy in the game, which would have been perfect for his wife. Like it's just like everything would have been so good. I don't know why we got that 
Uh, oh, did you say possessed by horror? I said that too. That's so funny. I did not oh, hear that. Um, well, there you go. I, I, I was honestly like thinking, I'm like, why did he do? I don't understand why he was allowed to do Halloween. You know, I don't have anything <laughs> wrong against his Halloween. I guess oh. everyone's allowed to do Halloween now. I think everyone's allowed to do it. So, <laughs> but, um, I'm not a big Halloween stan, like the first movie, whatever, but I'm not. Um, and I'm not against his version either. I think it has a place and a time. I know that's like a hot take. But mm. um, I just don't understand why he didn't do Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Why I know. Not? It seems more up his alley, actually. Yeah. He still could. Exactly. He should. Because that's so weird. Anyway, I just thought that was a weird, like, little bit of the Matrix, I guess. I don't know. Limp in the Matrix glitch <laughs> that he got the wrong movie. <laughs> Because there's so many Texas Chainsaw Massacre films and they're not all good and there's so many remakes and there's so many, like, yeah. changes in the in the lore and, like, sisters oh and all that kind of shit. And it's like, why did they fuck with Halloween, which is, like, everyone loves so much, instead of fucking right. with that? <laughs> like, it's so weird. Oh, my God. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise was, like, one of the hardest franchises I had to get through. Yeah, it is. It's so confusing. Um, it's so it's funny. when insane. It's, yeah. When I do... <laughs> when I've done like long videos and watched all of them and then by the time I put it all into a script and I've done it in a video, someone brings up one of the movies. I'm like, I don't even remember anymore. I've like <laughs> removed it from <laughs> my brain in existence because I cannot hold that information. Like you got to do what that. happened. To- yeah. It's so bizarre. It's absolutely so bizarre. What, what else you got for hor- um, your hot takes? Um, I, I feel like if you watch my channel, you probably know this already, but I, I think that the Friday the 13th franchise is just like a cheaper knockoff Halloween and it's not good. And I just, Ooh. I don't understand the Friday the 13th love. I just like strongly dislike those movies. Mm, and you cannot convince me that the guy in a hockey mask is scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's not- He's not the scary one. It's his mom's that's scary. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the best part of the first movie. I was like falling asleep through most of that movie on multiple rewatches wow. until the end. Mm. I, just I think can't that get that's with what it. Makes, I think, yes. Sorry, guys. Spoiler alert on fucking Friday the 13th. I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> Friday the 13th. With, like, you know, you know. Um, but it's uh, yeah i i think that that's why the first one works really well because it does have that twist i do like the first one i do understand what you mean like a lot of people say it rides off like the coattails but i think it has a a spot because of the twist with the mum. so then what happens from there it's the best part yeah yeah so (sighs) where did we end up with the the remake that they were talking about it's gone back and forth isn't it the (laughs) friday the 13th one is it a remake or sh- aren't they doing a show? Yeah, I think that's what they're doing. They were going back and forth with the rides. I'm sure someone, someone will know in the um, in the chat. Oh. They were going back and forth so much because there was some hold up with that. So, T. Yeah. There's always T with that franchise for some reason. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> And then I only learned about the game not too long ago about how that was all, it's like the most toxic fandom apparently in any of those like co-op games. I don't know if that's what they're called. I don't know anything about gaming. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting. That whole fandom. I know someone who's really, really loves Friday the 13th and like swears by it and probably has to defend the <laughs> that every single day, which kind of sucks. Just but, can't yeah. get with it. <laughs> I'm not really tied like tied to it at all. Um, I also think a lot of those movies, especially Nightmare on Elm Street, is probably my favorite of like, well, is my favorite of the big, you know, the big three. But I do think a lot of those are tied to American classic, you know, the nostalgia around Halloween time and stuff, and so it doesn't really translate as well to me as a foreigner. So um, yeah, it's really interesting seeing that and learning about it more since I started my channel and how everyone's like obsessed with those movies because you saw them everywhere, but I didn't, I don't know. I just didn't feel the same connection as a lot of people get, which I think is why Halloween works so well because it's the freaking name. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I saw someone say, um, Raiders said that they feel the same way about the Halloween movies. Snooze fest at best. (laughs) Their own. This is what we love. This is an actual hot take. Yeah. (laughs) It's, it's very interesting. That's interesting. Okay. I, I'll i bring out my big guns, guys. Ooh. <laughs> this is what I was wondering, and you're, I know you're going to have strong feelings about it. That's why I thought it was. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm scared. You have to. Everyone has strong feelings about this. Oh. 
Art the Clown. (laughs) (laughs) The way you make the face you made, I'm already scared. Because people know. People know. Um, Terrifier. Overhyped. Overhyped. Um, Not. (laughs) And you know what? It's not even the film's fault. It's. And I've spoken, I know these guys, you know, I've done interviews with them, but <laughs> it's the marketing, too much, too much to stop. <laughs> I, 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 I don't do it, girl. Be careful. Look at all the comments. So It's too much. It's too much. The I comments are going to come yeah. hot right now. They leak, they leak a poster. They, you know, I, I, I can't. It's, it's <laughs> off. I was all for it at the start. I was all for it. And then I sat through, oh my God, I'm going off now. It's happening. Then I sat through number two. I, I've i never been so dumbfounded in my life. <laughs> oh my I God. have never. The com- how people absolutely adored that second film. Did we watch the same movie? It was literally like there was so much. <laughs> there was so much that could have been cut out. It was, it was like, it was it was like a circle jerk like no 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 that's <laughs> true i i'm gonna agree with you there is it's it a little long just like a it little was bit so long. long they and they hype it up and i'm not gonna give any spoilers because there are no spoilers because the second <laughs> film gave more questions than it did answers and when it i said yes and when i spoke to damien back for the first film and i like interviewed him before he had even came up with the concept for the second film well he kind of had a concept of what art the clown was what he told me in that interview was completely different to what that film was so he is just chopping and changing <laughs> and I, how the fuck they're going to try and figure out what this has to do with the dad in the in the second one with the first one and then him coming back all this shit that happened yeah, there's too much going on. on there's too there's much going on now yeah and she went, yeah anyone she who comes hasn't back. seen the second yeah she comes anyone back. who hasn't seen the second just give me two seconds for a spoiler just two seconds for the <laughs> second one where she randomly gets drugged at a party <laughs> Oh, right. Friend. That was wild. And then it just goes on. Like, what is happening? Why? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I do. I do. If it, I think that the marketing is what sets me off because it, it has all, I understand it has, why did I even do this? It has like a whole fandom and I love that people are really excited about it and excited about this unique looking um, villain. I love that. Don't get me wrong. I love that. And I love that it's crowdfunded. I, I helped fund it as well. I put my money into it. So Aww. I love that. I have a signed script from the second film. I need to give away so bad because I don't <laughs> deserve to own it. Um, because I, it was one of the perks for like, yeah. Uh, it was a perk for, you know, doing the, the funding. I love that it's crowdfunded. There's nothing more than I like about that. But the issue is that they just won't shut up about it. And it's getting on my last nerve. Switch. Um, I cannot, I cannot. I like, I just need to breathe. And if I had heard about it, like every now and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. I'm glad that everyone really enjoyed that. I didn't like it. Um, so I just can't, I, it's too much. You, you didn't like the, the second movie at all. Um, I can appreciate the gore and I think that they went there. I like independent filmmaking, but, um, but I felt like it was too long where I just don't understand because I went to the cinema and I saw, actually saw it with Des who's here in the comments. Thank you, Des. Um, terrified to was a comedy. It, I don't know. Were we, <laughs> were we laughing? Um, oh my God. I actually saw it with Des and a bunch of people and the cinema we're in, people were checking their watches. So everyone. So I just don't <laughs> understand what I saw compared to what everyone else saw <laughs> because I was really I think I saw that film late because it didn't come out in Australia for a while. Um, we had to see it in like a special screening and or like, you know, it was just like a, it was a, obviously a general public thing. I think we saw it on a Halloween night actually oh. and last year. And um, yeah, I, I just, I, I think that what I'm saying is it's overrated. That's probably what I'm saying. It's overrated and I don't think the marketing helps because it puts you, it's just currently in my face. It's currently like they've leaked the poster. They leaked a poster for a film it's just so weird because it's like a crowdfunded film as well. It's not like it. I mean, I don't know if the third one is, but it's not like it's this blockbuster thing where it's been in the make. I, I guess it has been in the making for years and years and years. But I tell you what, the third film better have 
answers. The, if it doesn't uh, yeah. have answers, I'm burning this. No, that's that's true. Like I I gave Terrifier two a good review. I had fun with it, but I do think it left like so much more questions than the first movie. Like we didn't really get any answers about art and where he comes from. In which I mm. thought that was going to be the case. Anything, like, just a hint. Like, like I feel now. like. I feel like I heard Damien say in an interview that like, oh, you know, a lot of questions are going to be answered. And I feel like he just like added he on more questions. Me. <laughs> he, also, he said so much to me. Because also, if you guys go back and watch it, no hate you, Damien, love you. But if you go back and watch it, he's actually, he's he was drinking during our interview and he was like, I'm telling you more information than I should and all this. And I was like, oh, yes, more, more, more. Um, But he told me some weird things that have not, I think he's changed his story, to be honest. It, it has to have. And that was way before he decided, like, he was going to get number two put into production and probably wrote the script and stuff. So, but I don't understand what the sword has to do with anything. <laughs> That's my thing. I'm it's like, confusing. The- yeah. And now three is, like, Christmas. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we're yeah. Never, we're never going to see the end. We're never going to have an answer. I and- can't believe they, like, leaked the poster, too. I, I was ki- I was kind of annoyed when I saw that. I was like, why are y'all leaking saying. this? I'm like, well, just be honest and stop trying to, like, every five seconds. Well, oh, my God, did you not? I'm like, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, it's my fault. I shouldn't follow all the accounts, but I do. And it just annoys me. It annoys me because I feel like it's overrated and it just keeps getting put in my face. And I'm really sorry about it, everyone. I know that some of you oh. guys really like it. I know you guys like it, but we're doing hot takes. And who am I if we're not to give a hot take? myself you know what i mean gotta put myself out there hopefully the third one will have answers i'm really hoping for that oh god it better it better i sat there i paid my money but i was not satisfied (laughs) god i went off the deep end there uh thank you so much laura the terrifier (laughs) movies are so bad but art the clown is iconic yes see i think that's the one to love we want to love Love. <laughs> love. Um, Emma, Emma will get there maybe <laughs> if they have like this crazy imagine if it's like the most craziest twist of all it like pulls off the thing and it's like it it's like Pennywise <laughs> could you imagine <laughs> oh my god what if this Pennywise reincarnated because that works kind of <laughs> Emma you should be in the writer's room <laughs> oh I'll, get kicked, I'll get kicked out so fast oh my god Oh my god. Um, I agree with you. Terrify is overrated. I haven't seen. Oh no, I mean, Terrify the first one is fine. I don't have a problem with the first one, Wilson. You're on your own. You can <laughs> burn, specifically burn the too. witch. Burn the witch. I'm <laughs> not um, it's number two, which was insane. Apparently, a woman is brutalized. Yeah, it is a lot, and I I actually really like oh. the gore, but that is like exactly what we're talking about because there is no context to why any of it is happening, which is why it's so funny. Imagine watching a movie because it goes for like. Two hours, two and a half hours, it feels like. I can't it's remember. It's two and a half. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. It's long. You do not want this, trust me. There's, there's a reason why I'm on this side. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> but yeah, that fandom is wild as well. But, um, you know, we all got to love what we love. Did you have any other hot takes of your own? Oh, yeah. Um. Yes. So I think we spoke about it a little bit earlier, but I'm like really over like 80s nostalgia bait. Like I'm I'm okay with never going back to the 80s again. It's <laughs> it's tired. And I personally do not feel like and yes, I know I wasn't bored in the 80s or whatever. But like mm-hmm. I don't think that the 80s are the best like generation for horror movies. Mm. And I'm just like over people acting like that's like when everything was great and we need that mm. again because now all these studios are like this is what the young people want is the yeah. 80s and i'm just like i'm tired of the fucking 80s it's dead we're done <laughs> it's capped let it wow. go people love 80s horror it's like the it's the go-to it really is people are all for it but i think it might be like a generational thing where like i'm i'm assuming you like me, you might you probably yeah. like 90s a lot like i love 90s everything i love 90s yeah i think 90s all the time and even early 2000s I think it, it really depends when you get into horror but I like what you're saying about the baiting because it is like always these kind of like throwbacks the Psycho Gorman was that 80s or was yeah. that meant to be based in the 90s I love Psycho Gorman though I feel like there are exceptions <laughs> but yeah no there is there is but yeah there should be interesting Toxic um, Adventure coming out too which I someone's probably seen that already have you seen it already 
No. It was playing at a few festivals. No, I, I, I don't know if, if anyone can clear up in the comments who have seen it. If, I don't know if Ian's here, if someone's seen it already, if it is still based in the 80s, because I know it's a remake, but I didn't know if it was like oh, stylized. So I that's didn't. A, that's a, oh. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I understand what you're saying. And I think that that's probably even leaks into the whole remakes of everything because that's, you know, reviving things that were tied into nostalgia for horror fans. So, you know, and that's where the problems come with like exorcist and stuff like that and all that kind of thing. I think it's, yeah, it's interesting. I, I, I can see where you're coming from. There's not a lot of stylized um, films that I gravitate to towards for that. Even like VHS. I know everyone loves how the way I say H. Um, <laughs> hates me when I say H. What? Um, <laughs> let her live some people, yeah some people talk different from different places yeah like um, what? <laughs> um that even like 85 and all of that yeah i feel like that kind of played into that whole i don't know if this 80s. is a hot take but i hate those movies i'm sorry i don't think it's a hot take i think there's so many of them oh my it's god impossible. it's impossible. let it let it go let it go <laughs> we're well, done I, I just watched the new one and i was like we need this to just be dead. Like it's yeah. just, it's done. We we get. I it. feel like they had like one or two good ideas, but is yes. that worth a whole thing? But that's anthology. Sometimes that's good if there are just a good idea to put it into a short. But it because they all try and connect them, but they're just Too pumping much. them out at this stage. Like, and it's so easy because they're. I mean, not that any <clears> film <throat> is easy, but it's easy because they all found footage. You know, skewed. So yeah. it's like it's just yeah easy for them to do that. But yes, God, everyone's still going on about the terrifying thing. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone got mad at me. I think it was the mad, the mad George. It's not overrated. It's just people enthusiastically backing something fully independent. I, dude, I crowdfunded too. I paid. I just thought it was overrated for the turnout. You should. I also think that we have to take this with a grain of salt because you and I both see all of the comments in within our community where people might go and watch a video and see like. A couple of people they like talking about stuff but they don't see all of the comments come in and constantly right. hearing everyone else's opinions so the reason i say it's overrated is because when i talk about it or people bring it up a lot to me so um or i see a lot of conversations about it within my own community so yes i'm going against my own community okay <laughs> that's fine sometimes you do yes i, exactly. I have i mean Oh, yeah. I've definitely, I wouldn't say made some mistakes, but I've definitely <laughs> put out some, I know a lot of movies what I, because I see them either at a premiere or because it comes out Thursday night for, you know, in, in all countries, basically when a movie comes out, even if it comes out the same time here, it will be my, well, it will be your Thursday morning when I've already seen the movie. Mm -hmm. And I, I put out a review and I'm like, I have no idea if everyone's going to hate this. I love this. My <laughs> opinion is going to be complete. I don't know how you feel about that. Do you uh, read much stuff before you put up your reviews or anything like that? Like about everyone else's opinion on it? No. Mm. I don't it's, usually. It's really interesting to see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is everyone agreeing with me or not? I don't know if people love or hate this. It's really, it's a, it's an interesting little, um, yeah, little pocket little pocket just by yourself going oh my god is everyone gonna be <laughs> on board with me <laughs> but there's been a couple of films where everyone's gone oh no emma you are wrong <laughs> i just like i just always assume that nobody's gonna agree with what i'm saying oh really yeah most of the time yeah <laughs> like even like when i did the exorcist believer review i was like all right nobody's gonna understand where i'm coming from <laughs> oh my god well that one's just hard because i feel like everyone just was just mad. I don't think anyone would actually watch any videos. They would just comment without even looking at your opinion or yeah. hearing something full. It is a lot to ask people to like sit there for 10 minutes to, to like take it all in before. It's true. It's true. <laughs> and I feel that. Sometimes it's good to have some, you know, some liveliness in the comments. As long as it's nothing personal, I'm always for it, you know. But um, that brings us to the last take I have that is – I have one other take. I don't know if no one's – oh, I guess I'll do it. I, you guys have probably heard this one before. Have you seen the movie Upgrade? Yeah. Lee Winnell, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. A lot of people say it's not a horror movie. I think it's a horror movie. It is, yeah. I would agree. But that is a hot take because I will die on that hill and I've always I've always said this. Are they saying um, it's a – is this a thriller? Is that – no? I think they say it's an action sci-fi. 
So, okay. I mean, it is all of those things, but I think that that's, that's the whole point is things can be genre bending. It's just of like jo- any Jordan Peele film. A lot of people say that that's, yeah, like I said before, people say it's, it's not a horror, but the whole point is he wanted to make like a summer horror. So like the big summer movie and make it into right. a horror like Jaws was. But just because you say Jaws, well, I mean, that's another one as well. People, is Jaws a horror movie or not? What's the mystery element there if it's a thriller? <laughs> Who done it? Who done it? Who done it? <laughs> I think it might have been the shark. Yeah. Um, no way. Here we go. Upgrade as a upgrade as a sci-fi. A lot of people go back and forth about this, but I don't know if it's too niche for people. If you haven't seen it, you really need to go watch it. It's it's a it's fantastic. Um, it's it's the way it's shot is just chef's kiss. Um, but upgrade as horror. If it's nothing else. If it's not, then nothing Cronenberg. Well, I think that that's where it just gets muddy because I don't like pigeonholing things because of these kinds of conversations because it, it, what is it, who does it benefit? Absolutely nobody. But yeah, very, Annihilation, is that a horror? Yeah, I think so. Horrific. Sci-fi. I think it's that sci-fi element again. I don't know. Yeah, the definitely Disney. sci-fi, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it yeah, it goes, I guess you could debate any, any film. Oh, is Perfume a horror? Oh, God, sorry, wrong one. It's Perfume or Horror. Have you seen Perfume, the story of a murderer? You should watch it. No. Ooh, you should watch okay. it. It's a, good, it's a long one. I'd say it's more of a drama. I think it's like a disturbing drama. It's oh, good. I love that. I only okay. watched it recently. I've been told for years to watch it. I only watched it recently. <clears throat> and my God. What that year ending, is it from? Um, maybe like 2000s, mid-2000s. Perfume. Oh, I've never even heard of that. Story of a murderer. 2006. Oh, okay. Um, well, it says it's a drama thriller, but I would say, yeah, it's got the cast is insane. It's got um, Alan Rickman, Dustin Hoffman. It's insane. Wow. Uh, recommend to anyone in the in the comments. It's definitely, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if I'd say thriller, but definitely a drama. I mean, it's a story about like a serial killer. So then that we get to the whole like true crime element where if we're talking about a serial killer, does that make it a horror or does that make it a thriller? I don't know. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. That's so much. Like, that's so many yeah. questions. I, I have no idea. <laughs> well, like, Silence of the Lambs is also another one that people go back and forth, whether it's a horror or a thriller. And I, I absolutely I feel I like that's, like, a horror. Hmm. I don't know where I land, and I honestly do not care. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah. I love that film so much. <laughs> but It's great. It, it's not really worth putting in a box because it's such a different, I don't know. It's, just, it's And it's it brings one of the biggest horror icons as well when you think about it. Like, how do right. Work, like, so, yeah. Um, what is this? Hot take. The genre of the movie is determined by the feeling you have at the end credits as they start to roll. That's so cool. Oh. That's a cool. That's a cool I like that, yeah. Factor. Even if it's not like, yeah, that's, that's <clears> a cool <throat> thing to think about. I like that. Good one, Tim. Good one. I was reading all of these comments. Okay, we got one last one. <laughs> Shiraz. <laughs> Shiraz, are you still there in the comments? It'll be funny. Um, I don't know why <clears throat> this is just the order it happened. It's not really that hot. Um, but it's current. Talk to me. Wasn't that good? Oh my god, I have so many thoughts. Take it away. <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts. I know I can be a little aggressive, but I have so many thoughts about Talk To Me, okay? Like, everybody was saying, this is the best movie of the year. This is the best horror movie of the year. Oh, my God, this movie is crazy, whatever. I had to see this movie a little late, so most of my Twitter was like, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, right? Okay. First of all, I've been starving this year. The horror has not been serving. And I think (laughs) everybody has been starving for something. Like, anything and everything, everybody's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. And it's like, this year has not been the best, in my opinion. And I went to see this movie and I just think it's mid. It's just mid. Like, what is so groundbreaking about (laughs) Talk To Me? Like, are we joking? (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. No, I love it. You're having a terrifying moment. I'm letting you just take it all in. No, like, literally, I can't deal with it. And now we're going to have, like, Talk To Me too. Talk To Me Again. Talk To Me Forever. Talk To Me Another Day. Like... (laughs) I don't want to talk to you again, actually. I don't want to see. No, I don't care. Uh, what did you I'm write sorry. it? What did you write it? Do you know? I don't remember. Yeah. Maybe a 
It's like a one and no, 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 not a one and a half. Probably a two out of five. Out of five, yeah. Mm. And that's just my personal score. But like the acting and everything is good. You know, it's it's good. It's filmed well, but like. No, this concept is not so like incredible that I'm just like this is this is the movie of the no, it's not the movie of the year. I'm sorry, it's not. Mm. I I support the uh YouTubers like who, who made yeah. it. Yeah. That's, that's cool. I didn't know who they were before the mm. movie. I have like a weird story where um when I used to do Instagram lives, Raka Raka, because they're Australian, they used to oh. pop up in um the comments they popped up in the comment section one time and i was like what the fuck because they have millions I was oh like, and then a year a, that year um one of the guys he messaged me danny he messaged me and he said what are your top 10 favorite horror movies because i'm thinking about writing a horror movie and i want to know so i gave him 10 and then never heard about from him again and then <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean i'm thinking about but I'm like years later, but I'm sure like he did so much research and it's just so funny when you watch like their original content because it's like, I don't know that you know what their content's like. No, I've never seen it. I no. Oh my God. What? Is it weird? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's wild. They do like a psycho Ronald McDonald thing. I, I'm, I'm not, I don't even know how to explain <laughs> watch this after this stream yeah like, what? absolutely wild very nice guys and very i guess for me personally and i definitely took this out of it but personally like seeing because they're from adelaide as well which is <laughs> no one hate me in the comments in australia is known <laughs> to be quite can be quite rough and like not a lot of people come out of there and no i'm not saying like it's <laughs> like it's oh. like <laughs> but it's just uh, it's not w one of the coastal towns that get much um appreciation i should say and okay. so it was like cool to see these guys who had made YouTube and like, you know, and this huge come up and then also being done by A24. I was like, fuck yes. I was so excited for them. Um, yeah. Just so thrilled and seeing that the way they rolled it out, the hype they did around it. I just, I watched everything. I thought it was so cool. When I saw the film, yeah, I definitely had, I think we saw it, we got it just before you guys, um, maybe a week mm. before um because of th they did make sure they did the australian release no, maybe not a week maybe a couple of days they did an australian release just before and um i just remember thinking like yeah it was good i liked it i gave it like a seven out of ten i liked it there was definitely oh. issues in there that i didn't um i didn't love i didn't think things were resolved in this certain way or i think that things were almost too open instead of I don't think you have to over explain things but they could have really wrapped up some things or made it more poetic in the way that they did some of the reveals especially towards the end I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of people uh interpret the film quite different to each other not anyone's right or wrong um there might not even be answers so I think that's interesting and I do think it's interesting because it's kind of like and I I don't know sorry I should have looked this up but the second one I'm not sure I'm sh assuming it's following like a different thing what's happened with the hand which is exactly what I kind of wanted out of the first one um, this kind of goes back into the terrify thing where I want to know the or origin story. So I hope that we hear more about that. So I do have high hopes for the second one, um, but I do agree in a certain respect. Where I, I keep seeing comments come through every day on my channel with people saying, I finally watched Talk To Me and I don't understand the hype. So I think there's a lot of people who actually feel that way. Um, and then other people who said it was like absolutely amazing. So I think it's just one of those, I think emotional <laughs> films, especially ones that touch on grief, really hit hard for some people and don't hit hard for other people because it, it, everyone experiences that like complex emotion in different ways. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of like not on the fence. I, I did like it, but I definitely could see some things that could have been really improved quite easily or like changed um, to make it more like of impact. Um, I felt like some things were like wishy-washy and you're going through the motions. And I remember being at the end of that film being like, oh, this must be like the wrap up. <laughs> this is like the conclusion. And I was waiting for something a little bit more to make it more poetic or some kind of realization, which never really kind of happened. But yeah, I, I, I can see both sides, to be honest, especially for people who are get it really, really hyped up. That's what I hate when we get films really late in Australia because that happens often, like Pearl and stuff like that. We get it six months later. And oh, my God. Yeah, Midsummer that happened with, and you're just like you have no idea what to expect and you don't know which way, you know, which side to. <laughs> yeah. Should I be really excited or should I not? It's a scary thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's the fun it's the fun part. You never know what you <laughs> think or feel until you watch it personally. So. It's true. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, that's all of our hot takes. Did you have any other ones that you wanted to throw up there? No. no. <laughs> I think I'm good. You're like, not anymore. I've spoken too much. Thank you so much for joining me. Of um, thank you guys all so much in the chat. You guys have been so great. Thank you to everyone who uh, who gave a super chat. That was really nice of you guys. We love having you here. I'm sorry, Wilson, I probably missed another one of your super chats. <laughs> Book of Shadows is is a comedy, not a heart. No, I don't know if you know about this, but I love Book of Shadows. It's like my one of my favorite. Movies. I haven't I seen it. Oh, my God. If you love 2000s, especially if you love like goth girls. Oh, well, okay, I do. It. So I love it. Uh, it's so good. Uh, I have it on. I don't. I don't have it here. Oh, maybe I do. Hang on, one sec. Oh my god! Yay! What am I gonna see? I think I have it on VHS. Someone sent it to me, which is so nice. I oh, still have amazing! A train <laughs> I love that. Oh, oh my god! I love it so much. You need to watch it. You'll probably hate it. <laughs> really? We can do another no. hot take. <laughs> <laughs> we're no, gonna have to do it. we're gonna have to it's do it. when so terrifier good. 3 comes out we're gonna have to do <laughs> <laughs> oh my god when terrifier 3 comes out i'll go into hiding or i'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like or i'll be the person on here like i told you so we still don't have any answers i'll be raving i'm gonna have I'll to message like, you like emma how are you coping <laughs> yeah. i'll be like the, the old man like screaming at clouds <laughs> like, that's me. oh my god oh funny. my god i I love this comment. I'm sorry. Francis says this was my multiverse of madness. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh my God. Well, it was so nice to talk to you finally and hang out. Oh, thank you so much, Amy. It was. And it Eric. was very nice. Long time coming. Yeah, it ha I know. We, all, <laughs> uh, we, we had planned this so long ago and we just kept um, waiting. Watching Talk to Me was a highlight of the year. Who's that? I don't know who that is. Do I, am I meant to know who that is? Oh my god, my mic is trying to kill me again. What's happening? Because my <laughs> I'm holding my mic up with my. This is what happens. <laughs> my mic sometimes is like no more, no more. <laughs> it's just too much. <laughs> Who's a? Okay, I'm trying to look it up. Parker, who is that? Oh, a YouTuber. Oh, okay. They do movie reactions. Oh, oh I think I recognize her. Oh, yes, I, I recognize her. I know who cool. that is. Yeah. Okay, I need to see the video. Send the link. Send the link. Send the link. Okay, and thank you, Des. <laughs> I can't see the sticker, but thank you. I love you all. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to follow Celise. Is all of her stuff is down below. All of it's down there. Make sure to follow Sweet and Spooky. Spooky and Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, we're both spooky. No one said anything about that. Two spooky gals. Just... I know. Should we just address each other as spooky from now on? Yeah. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> probably not <laughs> um but yeah thank you so much i hope uh can't wait to be cancelled tomorrow Woo! uh yeah love that for us <laughs> and we'll talk to you guys all soon oh wait what do you have coming up do you have anything that you want to promo that's coming up on your channel or anything oh on? tomorrow i have a fun vhs collection video coming out so check it out yay love it yeah <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a huge collection Yes, it's oh consuming God. me at this point. I don't know where I'm going to store it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> do you have an actual like tape player? Like, do you? I do. Oh, I love cool. watching love them. Oh. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't have one anymore. I don't even have a DVD player. <laughs> of, I just stream everything and go see. I go to cinema. To, to be fair, I stream everything too. I don't mm. have a DVD player. Oh, there you go. I, that's a hard, <laughs> hard, like, hot take as well. Like not collecting physical media. I don't. But, you know, not watching everything on DVD or Blu-ray or, you know, getting your steel books and all that. So, I mean, I love that people love collecting, but it's, yeah. And not I, everyone's I'm, I'm a collector. Say, it's okay. And I don't have the space. <laughs> all the yeah. money. My God. So expensive. It's expensive. I, yeah. Really yeah. I don't have that, that kind of coin. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me. And thank you, everybody. We're going to give uh, go just a hard cold out. Okay, love you guys so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>